Hello, and in uh, this video I'm going to be talking about terra tiles, in particular the Tundras and Wastelands set, which I was able to uh, secure a Kickstarter copy uh, just recently, and it actually arrived yesterday, and it will complement my Coast and Rivers and the first set, the Misty Moorlands. Now these tiles might look vaguely familiar for those of you who've been following my channel. Uh, they are actually... Uh, similar to the ones you get in Encantress, uh, but these tiles are designed for like 28mm RPGs and tabletop battle games etc. So anyway, let's get uh, Tundras and Wastelands opened and we might uh, have a quick look at Misty Moorlands and Coast and Rivers whilst we're at it. Well as you can see, uh, this is a Kickstarter edition with the promo tiles, uh, which are quite uh, a nice addition. It's a, a double-sided tile and um, you know, you might be able to get hold of this version if you order from uh, the website, but they are getting low on stock on a few of the items now from uh, my understanding. Anyway, let's get the shrink open and uh, look inside the box. With the uh, shrink off, you get the box open and you can see the various Kickstarter backers' uh, names, which uh, is a fairly standard feature. And then you've got a nice set of sealed tiles, which are sort of held in place by these weird uh, kind of uh, wedges of cardboard. So anyway, um, just get the tiles out. First tile I've come across is this uh, Kickstarter exclusive. Uh, now this has got this weird sort of blurry overlay on a, a nice background. And then if you flip it over on this more sci-fi set, you've got this sort of laser tower thing going on. And that's a nice little Kickstarter extra. So you might not get hold of that. So you've then got your half tiles, which go together to form a reasonable picture. And then on the reverse side, you've got your sort of snowy waist. So you've got this sort of weird alien-esque um, world, very sci-fi or, or corrupted fantasy setting. And, um, you know, the detail's pretty nice. Uh, it's lovely artistic style and the snow stuff... Um, not necessarily coming up very well on my camera here, but there's some really nice detail of snow drifts and things in there. And uh, of course, the, the great thing with these is when you lay them out, you've got a really nice looking gaming board. So um, Saga, um, Age of Sigma, 8043, 40K, um, Frostgrave, you know, anything like that, it's going to look great on, on these tiles. So um, rather than the sci-fi um, kind of lava plane, uh, this is a, like a set of ca caverns, so be good for like dungeon crawling and then your nice snowy waste, so really good for things like Frostgrave, for example. And um, yeah, some really nice detail. And there's a little uh, skeleton in here, which uh, is great for 28mm, for other scales maybe isn't so good. A nice little ruin here, so you know if you don't mind 2D elements um, you can get some really nice uh, effects and if I just put a couple of tiles together you know, you get an idea of how they might join up. Um, nice bit of rough ground there. Again really really nice details and very uh, good for like maybe alternative claustrophobia maps and a great little tunnel there so really nice and then of course that could actually lead you into these icy caverns themselves and um, you know some of the tiles have similar looks um, but I'm not sure they are 100% the same another sort of tunnel going into some rocky terrain so it's got a lovely finish uh, it does have a slight linen pattern to it which I'm not uh, a great fan of uh, as I've mentioned before I'm not sure what the obsession with linen is. Uh, this fantastic bridge which is very similar to the Encantress boards and of course one of the downsides to these tiles is they'd be great for using with Encantress but Encantress is designed around hexes so you'd probably have to convert it to inches uh, to be able to play on um, these particular um, set of tiles and um, you know I I think that's something they can maybe look at uh, going forward is maybe you get this tile as a plain tile and when you flip it over you've got a duplicate of this tile with the hexes required for Encantress. That's uh, something you might be able to do. Uh, sort of a volcanic mount or cave mouth uh, with a nice big K 
chasm inside uh, for ice, a little bridge going over some weird gloop and again another nice large cavern um, possibly similar to one we saw earlier and I think this is a fallen bit of technology or statue or building or something it's a bit hard to see uh, this fantastic sort of monolith with weird writing on it and kind of cracking stuff underneath it really really nice stuff this is definitely looking very uh, sci-fi so if you're trying to do fantasy battles on lava this tile might not be the best fit and then oh a lovely um, kind of cave entrance going out into some green fields uh, another sort of crash starship with a loot pile so a nice dragon horde maybe um, that's pretty cool we've then got these weird alien tentacle type things coming out the ground so maybe a bit of cooler Cthulhu um, going on um, some strange colour out of space maybe yeah like liking these uh, tiles now as I say some of them are very similar if not duplicates of each other um, so you've got all sorts of lovely potential to mix and match these tiles I love this sort of Cthulhu-esque pattern on the floor there really really nice and if you've got Cthulhu Wars obviously they're 28mm figures so they would work quite well with these tiles so all sorts of lovely lovely options uh, a nice twisty uh, gloop uh, pattern and obviously there is a sort of duplicate tile there um, not sure it is exactly the same but it's very very similar um, as I say I do think some of these tiles are duplicated looking at it so you might have two of each uh, of certain tiles it probably tells you if I bother reading on the back of the rule book uh, a nice little Ford there it's fairly clearly laid out uh, Command and Colours uh, is another game that you might uh, be able to play on this um, all sorts of things um, really really useful set of tiles and if you're not a fan of neoprene you can just quickly flop these down get a really great uh, set of patterns um, it would be quite nice maybe for Terra tiles to look at maybe doing a a neoprene pattern so you know yeah okay you're going to be preset on some of your layouts but you know you've got a nice big um, board playing area um, nice little Ford there um, now some of these stuff like that this this tile here uh, on both sides you could probably use with 15 mil uh, flames of war stuff uh, for example particularly the snowy side um, you know Russian front etc um, this other side maybe for epic or age of tyrants or one of the little six mil games um some of the planar tiles would work quite well with six mil world war ii but um yeah possibly um epic age of tyrants things like that might start going wrong with some of these tiles uh, if you weren't too careful but yeah really really nice uh, set of tiles and um you know if you lay them out they're going to look great on your table and apparently there is uh, 66 double-sided tiles spread across three um, different environments so your kind of your wastelands your tundra and then obviously the kind of uh, ice tunnels and um, yeah I'm starting to get quite a few sort of duplicated uh, tiles now and yeah really really nice set of tiles and I must admit I have been using neoprene mats more than these but when you look at these again you you realize they're great great quality and being nice large tiles they can pop down um, really easily and I'm actually looking at maybe playing tanks on these and maybe ditching the movement arrows or or maybe not I mean um, there's all sorts of um, great stuff you can do obviously I'm looking at Eastern Front on the Tundra side rather than this rather weird kind of lunar uh, twisted wasteland landscape which would be really good for a chaos world for Age of Sigma for instance. Um, so yeah, really really nice set of tiles as I've mentioned uh, a couple of times now and uh, very pleased to have snagged myself a copy of uh, these tiles because these are the tiles that I didn't actually manage to back on Kickstarter so luckily uh, having a chat with Heath on Twitter, I was able to check out whether he had stocks of a, a few items and get them ordered so uh, I could get them before he runs out. Um, so if I just lay out a couple of tiles, maybe not 
uh, these are very very samey here you go there you go so got um, a couple of tiles there let's just jump back here again and have a river bend so there you go so very quickly I've got three tiles laid down and um, oops having trouble with my table if you get them lined up fairly well the gaps do disappear quite well on the darker tiles obviously on the white tiles they sharp a little bit more than they do uh, on a normal set of tiles and if I flip these over to to do the weird and wonderful chaos wastelands um, you know a totally different look and as you can see the seams disappear much more readily I've just quickly set up some uh, little caverns here and it'd be really good to see them maybe bring out some more uh, cavern tile options uh, because you know it would work really well as a sort of dungeon crawl lost patrol sort of nice uh, format um, I think these dungeons and the snowy tiles are my favorite uh, if I was playing a bit more sci-fi stuff uh, then maybe I'd start liking these wastelands or maybe if I was playing like a, uh, a chaos um, army for GW but um, yeah, some of the tiles, uh, you know, you're obviously going to have a weird dead end. Um, so maybe if he could put a dead end in and have this come in, if he ever redoes or revisits some of these tiles. You've also got this weird sort of um, double tunnel effect where you connect it and you've got these two tunnels that don't quite join up. Um, really, really nice uh, set of tiles. So that's your three options. And uh, I really do like them, but in particular... Um, the snow and the caverns, the wastelands less so for me personally. Well I'm just going to have a very quick look at Coast and Rivers, I'm not going to show you all the tiles. Now because I got this on Kickstarter I did get some uh, kind of 3D uh, pop out terrain elements which uh, will be very useful for games like Encantress. Uh, so that's quite good. I quite like the trees, not so keen on the walls because of these little inserts. Uh, I think when you punch them out you are going to have to take a, a blade to some of these uh, little uh, grooves to make sure everything fits together nicely. So anyway, let's have a quick look at just a few of the tiles for coasts and rivers. Well first of all you've got your kind of watery effect which uh, looks really good. And then um, like you've got uh, a sandy... Uh, sort of waterfront on uh, where's the other one gone oh it's up there uh, so you've got this sandy waterfront and then a more kind of cliff waterfront and then on one of these where's it gone there it is uh, you've got more of your your coastline with uh, a very nice sort of watercolory look um, set of you know trees and grass work well, looking at some of the big tiles, uh, for example, you've got a little pontoon, so you can moor up a little boat, then a nice big open water hex, uh, another nice ruined building, which would work for any era, but uh, obviously works really well for fantasy with more plain water, a uh, sort of rocky coast with a path nearby with a sort of a vortexy whirlpool thing going on. Uh, not sure what this is. I think it's a, a bit of a start of a delta from a river or a bit of a lake with another whirlpool, a split path with plain water, another rocky coastline with another sort of vortexy bit, another split pathway with more water, and then just to show you just a couple more. So we've got this sort of weird uh, kind of tomb gravestone with a sinkhole going underground with a slightly less ruined version on the other side another rocky path with plain water a nice little ford really really nice tile that more vortexy stuff another ruin with more vortexy a kind of rocky set of islands or islets with a proper island on the other side nice bit of river works there with more water pathways with island more water with some more vortex so you get the gist with this um coast and river set that it's a lot of water a lot of rivers and coastline stuff which will complement really well the misty moorland set which is the final set i'm going to quickly show you now right well we're now actually going to open up the first set of terra tiles i ever got the misty moorlands and i was impressed with these enough to pick up the coast and rivers and i wasn't sure about tundras and wastelands but i decided yes i want some snowy terrain i want to get it uh, what i would like to see is maybe slightly bigger sets of these tiles so uh, you've got more variety more options more setup uh, 
capability but of course the, the idea is probably you buy one or two boxes of this and you're set under I mean one box is big enough for one table but uh, you know uh, what's it actually say here six foot by four foot so you have enough uh, tiles in here to easily cover a six foot by four foot uh, table so plenty of options so anyway let's get this set open and show you uh, what's inside First off the bat is this magnificent kind of stone summoning circle which I think might be the Kickstarter exclusive tile, I do not remember, it does tell you on the side, yes that's a uh, Kickstarter exclusive and then a less powered up version of it which is the other Kickstarter exclusive with a nice ruin very similar to the one we've seen, so we've got a rocky path, just some open grassland and um, got a couple of those, a nice big wooded hex. So really good for maybe Command and Colors Ancients using 20 mil figures. Really, really nice look and feel on these tiles. So lots of duplicate tiles there. Um, a lot of them have this green plain background, so really good for filling out your table space. A uh, nice little bit of rock here, so either a hill or a little bit of raised ground. Really, really nice uh, set of tiles there, just whipping through those. And you know, obviously, if I uh, make sure this gets a nice good focus, um, you know, some really nice painterly detail in these, and you know, nice little flowers and everything. Um, so, some of the half tiles, let's show you those. So, I've uh, got a pathway with plain grass, a bit of rock, um, some trees, uh, some different types of trees, another sort of rock, a nice link into. The coasts and rivers with that little river outlet there and again it's going to look quite nice on the table. Set up a, a little three and a half tile uh, configuration here uh, and it looks pretty good. Uh, uh, there is a risk of some slight colour variation between tiles but no it, it works pretty well. Most of the tiles join together pretty neatly and of course you can always uh, chuck in some nice weird and wonderful extras so maybe at the top here I could chuck in another half tile and um, get some more rock so you've got this nice little narrow groove that you can come in through there and then obviously uh, you could chuck a um, something else not a rocky lump uh, what have we got let's uh, grab there you go a nice little tree uh, clump uh, over on the far edge there so you know all sorts of lovely uh, configuration options for you. Um, out of the three sets I think you're going to get the most value from the Misty Moorlands. The coasts and rivers are going to give you nice options for adding water. The Tundras and Wastelands set, uh, I wished it was more Tundra and then Wastelands was its own separate set uh, and then you know the two sets then would be awesome. Uh, I am afraid the Tundras and Wastelands uh, are maybe a little bit too much variety in one box but you know, there's still uh, plenty of tiles in there, so plenty of options. So overall, uh, a well worthwhile um, investment, uh, fairly decent quality thickness. Um, you know, the linen finish is not over the top on these. Um, the artwork, I, I think, is a nice simple style. It's going to kind of fade into the background enough for you to concentrate on your minis, but uh, be present enough to... Kind of mix it up and give you a nice look and with the painterly look to it as well i actually quite like that um, works really well definitely uh, something to add on your list of stuff so uh, you can design your own tables you can 3d print your own tables you can use play mats and you can use these and you can even mix and match like you can have a neoprene mat leading into maybe some of these all sorts of crazy options for you uh, i do intend to 3D print a load of stuff to put on top of these tiles and I'm actually looking at um, you know, tank battles, uh, 28 mil skirmish games and also uh, I don't normally use minis in RPGs but I am looking at maybe using these uh, for something along those lines. So a really versatile set of tiles, definitely worth the while checking out, uh, I think it's Rain Studios um, and um, you know if you like the look of these, go check them out and hopefully there will be some stock uh, available for you to, to set up your table with a uh, beautiful background rather than just plain green cloth or blue cloth or white cloth or whatever it happens to be you're using uh, for your basic tabletop 
layouts. Anyway, there you go. Hope you've enjoyed that very quick look at Terror Tiles. And that's the three sets. So the Misty Moorlands, Coast and Rivers, and Tundras and Wastelands.